well, we have all become accustomed to the sight of these masks. Well, Governor Cuomo declaring today that businesses will be allowed to turn people away if they are not wearing one. It is just another measure of what businesses may look like when the city finally reopens. We're not there till the day we declare it, but we are damn close. No exact date given, but both the mayor and governor appear optimistic New York City will soon reopen. Within a week or two is the best guidance given by de Blasio. And when we do? A minimum of 200,000 New Yorkers will be coming back to work, a maximum of 400,000. The city is the only region left in the state that has not moved into phase one, having not met the important requirement of a minimum 30% vacancy in hospital beds. But some city business owners are not waiting for the official call. Amidst a crowd of supporters cheering him on, Bobby Catone reopened the doors to Sun Believable, his tanning salon in Staten Island, defying a state order, but he was quickly shut back down. Without community, without small business, the rest of the country would not survive. The mayor is not having it. The city has closed nine businesses in the last 48 hours that tried reopening. His honor saying people don't get to make their own laws. Any business that attempts to open that should not yet be open. We're going to go. We're going to tell them shut down right now. And when businesses are finally allowed to resume, Governor Cuomo says no mass, no entry. He announced a new executive order that authorizes private businesses to deny entrance to people who do not wear a mask or a face covering. And the owner of Sun Believable was uh, slapped with a $1,000 summons. He has vowed to keep fighting to reopen. We're live in the Great Kill section of Staten Island tonight. I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.